So here I am on the bus getting ready to go to the Shaolin Temple. I'm excited as all heck because uh, it's a lifelong dream for me. You can see in the background there are tons of buses that take tourists from, from Zhengzhou to the Shaolin Temple. So. I, I don't have anything. To, this is. I have to set some new goals in life because I think this is the last thing on my list next to uh, getting rich. Man, I'm so geek. Why is this guy holding a bird? Ain't you ever heard of avian flu? That's not how they get down in Shaolin, I hope. Bunch of old men carrying birds. There's nothing fierce about that. Here we are at a miscellaneous temple. I don't know how to explain this, but the buildup is intense. I'm not going for comedy on this podcast. This is just a document of a, of a dream fulfilled. Let's look at these statues. This statue has a stomach like mine. Hmm. Maybe there is a future for me as a kung fu fighter after all. Let's get the fuck out of here! I'm making my approach to the Shaolin Temple. I'm, excited. I'm geeked, as we say back home. Look, jumping in my foot. Look, I don't even care. They tricked me. This is just yet another temple. You know, the, the Chinese are, are, are famous for inventing many things. The compass, some say paper, kung fu, and da -da 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 -da, the wishing well. Thank you. Try again. I just want to go to the temple. And they keep taking me to these other temples. Guess they have a tradition here on your way out. Take your little sticker off. And post it back there. We don't want to not follow tradition now, do we? It's me right there. Like my new watch? It's plastic. This is it, folks. I'm about to enter the temple. It's the moment I've been waiting for ever since I was a young boy. Entering the shop. Man, this is everything a kung fu fan could ask for. They got a big screen TV in the back. Playing kung fu movies before you enter. Man, things are never gonna be the same again. Honestly, I haven't been this happy probably since Christmas of 93. Oh no, that wasn't a happy Christmas. I didn't get shit. I've got my ticket for the Shaolin Temple. Ha <laughs> ha, this one's glossy. Look at that. This guy looks serious. Now that I think about it, a lot of the people around here look like stars from Kung Fu movies. You got the old digging master. You got the Shaolin table fighters. <laughs> He's mastered the style of Ikea. This guy's mastered the camera style. A master of PDA style. You got the Shaolin finger sorry, painters. Sorry. He has a secret technique he doesn't want to show anybody. Look, they even have a Shaolin school bus.
Let's get the fuck out of here! I did something I never said I was gonna do. I actually joined the tour group, but it was by accident. I didn't know the bus I got on. It was mandatory that we had a tour guide. It's not so bad. She carries around a little flag. <laughs> like we're going into battle. I can honestly say I've been to at least two or three dozen temples, and this is the liveliest temple I've ever seen in China. You got things buzzing, you got it's, 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 I mean, you got things to look at. You got people climbing around, jumping, backflipping, kung fu kicking. You got folks doing it all here. I mean, if you come to any temple, you need to come to this temple. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a, I'm a Shaolin Kung Fu fan. I'm saying this because you can go to many temples in China, and they all gonna be the same. But this one, it's definitely, it's definitely something worth coming to see. I've been to many temples decorated with the four, the, the character for Buddha, but I've never seen one this glorious before. They got it going on at this temple. Five star temple. This reminds me of that episode of Kung Fu where David Carradine had to pick up the flaming hot cauldron and brand itself. And what's this guy about to do with this? These guys are back here. Look. Look these, guys, these guys are back here playing Kung Fu. I don't know what the name of this temple that we're at now is inside the Shaolin Temple, but I'll edit it in later. And uh, apparently there's a depression in the floor called the, the Kung Fu Foot. So, so let's, let's have a look at that. See, it's right there. The Kung Fu Foot. Man, tell me that guy didn't look like something out of a Kung Fu movie. Man, I'm getting my money's worth. Let's get the fuck out of here! Now, some people might uh, be upset because you don't see any Shaolin monks, the old masters walking around, but I'm not because you see something much more entertaining here. The souvenir peddlers. Dun, dun, dun. This is the flying fearsome photographer. Look, she can even disappear. Let's get the fuck out of here! I'm going to sit here and meditate for a while. So this is really the end of the podcast. We just walked through the, uh, this is kind of like a, a cemetery for the, the dead monks. So, so see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I should have been talking like this the whole time. Are you ready to battle? <laughs>